Bourne United faced Albert Foundry at Seaview in the under 15's third plate final. After an even opening 20 minutes, Bourne got the game's opening goal. Forward Dean McNeely outmuscled the Foundry defender here before finishing past Ethan Kerr. Foundry had this strong penalty appeal turned down when Taylor Maddox was brought down by Joshua Hume inside the box. The referee had a clear view but wasn't convinced. Maddox this time crossed to teammate Adam Collins. His first effort was blocked before his second came off the woodwork. Foundry levelled as this long range free kick from Joe Stewart beat the barn keeper to make it 1 1, going in at half time. The second 35 was filled with action straight away, as Foundry should have scored here. John Rankin's shot was saved. Maddox, however, managed to miss from this angle when it looked easier to score. Some great football here from Albert Foundry as they were starting to play with more freedom. Justin Young's strike from the edge of the box hit the crossbar. Lewis Ingrams was then blocked by a barn defender but Collins made it third time lucky as he placed a strike into the corner, giving his side a 2-1 lead. Young had a go from distance here, however the barn keeper made a comfortable save. There was still one last chance for Barn in this game. With time running out, Alex Whiteside and Dean McNeely linked up. The latter had this goal-bound shot superbly saved by Kerr, as he tipped it onto the bar and saved the follow-up. It happened to be the last attack of the game as the referee blew his full-time whistle, as both players and staff ran on to congratulate the keeper, as Foundry beat Barn United 2-1 to win the under-15's third plate.